is Maxine at Fabricland. Let's get ready to celebrate the King's coronation. It's coming soon. So we've got lots on the table to show you. So we've pulled out anything that's red, white and blue. So you can see a big selection of what we've got. So look, there's just loads of different prints. So we've got Spotty Dotty. OK, this is quite cheap and sequiny. This would look lovely draped or maybe to make some costumes um, to dress up, maybe some capes or something like that. We do felt squares if you want to do some crafts and some glittery ones. ones. Maybe you want to make some crowns. We do crushed velvet, so you could maybe use like this as a tablecloth because it drapes really well and then maybe put a runner down the middle um, of one of the Union Jack fabrics. That would look fab. Um, we've made some bunting here, okay, out of um, our fabrics galore. Now we've bought this in at 1.99 a metre. So we're selling this to you, 1.99 a metre. It's absolutely fabulous. It's a poly cotton. You can see how lovely it is. This would look good made into kids' shorts and dresses. I've even pulled out a couple of patterns for some simple dresses and shorts and skirts. So that would look nice, teamed with a white T-shirt for your street party. We've got Union Jack ribbon, of course, so you could use that. If you wanted to maybe make some vintage bunting, we've got lots of different red, white and blue prints that you could mix and match, maybe with your strawberries on, because that's very British, isn't it, our strawberries? So there's lots of different things, gingham, so you'd have lots of choice if you wanted to mix and match it, or you could just make like the traditional one with the flags, um, or maybe you'd like to make um, the bunting like red, white, and blue and cut out the triangles this fabric is called polypropylene it doesn't fray okay so you can just cut it out maybe you want to do it with your school children um, or maybe if you've got any youth groups and make some bunting which would be good um, we also do a bunting template and we've got bunting kits on the website if you just want to have that we do rip stop okay so this is really good for flags um, it doesn't fray and it flaps in the wind and even if it gets wet it just dries out really quickly so we've got lots of different colors in that but that would look nice made up we've got our bucket hat kit which i think is fabulous we do other designs um, but wouldn't it be lovely if i could see you all on the mail with these on or for your street parties in the photos in the papers so these are really quick and easy to make it comes um in a kit and all the sizes, so it's got children's and adults, so you could maybe just get one kit and then add some extra fabric to your basket to make it. What about these gorgeous gonk kits? So we've got Arthur the Grenadier Gar and Jack, so they're really cute. So maybe you could have a go at making them for a table decoration. Um, maybe you make an apron. So there's lots of different things. You can make an apron if somebody's going to be doing all the cooking at the street party. So maybe they'd like a nice apron and oven glove. So there'd be lots of different things that they could do there. So um, I'm just trying to think what else we've pulled out. We've got feathers. We've got dress net. Um, dress net, again, really versatile. You could make um, nice door bows maybe decorate a tree or something out the front of your house so there's lots of different things you could do you could maybe make tutus just layer it up for the kids just cut strips and put it onto a ribbon i have got a youtube video showing you how to do that so i think we've got lots and lots to cover so um also i've made my dress and it's in the uh, new look 6262 pattern which you see me in a lot but it suits my style um so i've made that if you don't want to go all out maybe just make a red dress or a blue dress and maybe just put like a crown or something or union jack um a good maybe for putting on pockets of jeans and things like that so hopefully that i've inspired you um to maybe come and celebrate the king's coronation um don't forget to like and subscribe this video um thank you <laughs>